Hey everybody, hope everyone's doing great. The markets are closed today, so I thought instead of a live buy, I'd just give you guys three tips on how to save some money this summer. I've done two of these, and the last one I will be doing later today. My name is Steve. I am making videos on dividend investing, but every once in a while I like to kind of pass on some of the knowledge that I store up here in my noggin. And number one is to borrow tools. Earlier in the summer, I demolished my shed. Um, I did not have a reciprocating saw, so I decided that I should borrow one instead of going and buying one. They range from 70 to like $300 at Home Depot or Lowe's. And I did it for free, but just by borrowing it from my father-in-law. So used it for the afternoon, and all I have to do is just now kind of just tidy it up and re return it. So I saved myself a ton of money there just by borrowing tools. Sometimes when you borrow the tool, you might actually get someone to help you out even with the construction project you're working on. So that's a side bonus. You know, you get free labor along with the free tool. So number two is go to the library. I'm a family of four. I've got two daughters. They read books like nobody's business. And I cannot afford to keep on buying new books. So. Once the library is opened up again, it was straight there to the, you know, load up girls and get as many books as you want, including myself. That's where I picked up that book, Fire, about the financial independence, retire early movement. The library is an untapped resource. Go there. You can save yourself some money on books as well as look at their online resources, Overdrive and the Libby, where you can download audiobooks as well. I just recently really enjoyed the four day work week by Tim Ferriss as well as Tony Robbins book called Money. And the third way that uh, you can save yourself a lot of money is, um, and this is not recommended for everybody, but you could cut your own hair. Yeah, I said that correct. Because we're coming in and out of these lockdowns, and as you can see, um, my hair is getting a little long, so I've decided that, you know, what I'm going to do instead, I am going to just um, take matters into my own hands and make some improvements there. And just, I calculate just, you know, like, but I could save $120 a year. And then when you kind of look over that, I'm, I'm probably not gonna do this for 30 years, but when you do look at it over the long haul, if that $120 was invested every year for 30 years or even 15 years, it adds up to quite a significant amount of money. And that's just the power of compound interest at work when you divert your money from one source to another and um, just let it keep on growing. So. Those are my three tips, you know, again, two of them I highly recommend. Third one, you know what, you might want to consult your spouse or just uh, your, your your girlfriend, boyfriend, and just let, you know, see if they even think that's a good idea. But yeah, borrow tools from your friends and family to kind of get some projects done and that way you don't clutter up your garage. You know, so another win-win there. Uh, two, take books out from the library. Um, download the audio books from the library. Your library card is like, it, it will save you a ton of money on books and audiobooks. And lastly, you know what? If you don't mind um, your hair being a little short, you know, take you can take matters in your own hand and shave your head um, and save yourself a bit of money that way, especially for the summertime. So there we go. I hope everyone has a happy long weekend and hope you and your investments are doing well. Keep it in the green and we'll see you on the next live by and take care everyone. Bye. Well, here we go. Here's the haircut. Uh, a little shorter than I think I was going to go, but thank God it grows back. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Looks good. Looks good. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Let me know what you think. Anyways, have a great day, guys. Bye.